Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much. Air signs, you are up. And again, thank you so much for your support of Mind Right Botanicals. I truly appreciate you. We are approaching 10,000 subscribers and that's what's up y'all. Let's see what comes out here. Messages, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. What would you like for my air signs to know? Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Holy Spirit, what are the collective messages for them at this time? Please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's shuffle this other deck sign. We're going to use the whole deck for my air signs, Holy Spirit. What would you like for my Aquariuses, my Geminis, and my Libras to know? Please, and thank you. What are the messages at this time? One more shuffle, y'all. Let's try to make sure the energy is clear. Let's see here. What is the message, Holy Spirit, for my air signs at this time? What are the messages from you? Through me, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. What would you like for them to know? Rats are around you. That's the first card out from my air signs, okay? Rats are around you. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Wise counsel, hierophant. It's really giving the criminal justice system. Somebody is a rat. Somebody is an informant for the law. Holy Spirit. I feel like the Holy Spirit is trying to give you a shout out right now, Air Sign. One of y'all got an informant around you. You know, I just picked up something like this in Earth Sign reading where somebody was trying to set somebody up for marijuana usage. DM they came out here. Let's see what else fell. Hidden cameras. I'm telling you, somebody setting somebody up. Somebody is an informant. Facade. Don't be fooled. You could be a divine masculine who is currently experiencing this. You know who the rat is, okay? Pregnant, sex magic, good luck and blessings are coming. So whoever the rat is, air sign, it sounds like it's somebody that you may be expecting a child with, okay? Whoever this person is. But this person did sex magic on you to get pregnant here. And this person here is getting some sort of benefit from setting you up. Okay? You you had current whoever setting you up, divine masculine, you are currently they're currently expecting a child with you. Mm. This person is going to get some sort of benefit from setting you up. We have water, lake energy. Hmm. Somebody is a water sign here. Clarify this water, lake energy, and we finna go on right to the tarot. We ain't gonna waste no time, y'all, on this. Clarify this water, lake, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Artist, it's only up from here. Whoever you are pregnant by, they're a water sign. They they they're giving off a very artistic spirit. And this person been looking for a come up. And somebody has approached this person to set you up in various ways. Because they're pregnant by you as well. 
And the only, it seems like the way that they knew they could get in with you is if they pop their pussy for you. Okay? That's how they knew they could get in with you because they didn't did some sex magic on you. Whoever you are, divine masculine. But this person is, is like an artistic energy. They're a water sign. And I'm telling you, this person saw you and this opportunity to set you up as some sort of come up. Okay. Ooh, I cut the deck on level up again. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you now. Holy Spirit, what else does my air sign collective need to know about this? There's a divine masculine who is currently being set up by the damn these cards. These cards smell good, child. Child I had to bring these things to my nose, child. Okay. But Holy Spirit, there is a divine masculine who got an artsy water sign energy pregnant, but this person was putting sex magic on him and she got hidden cameras on him. She set him up. Okay, Holy Spirit. So what else do we need to know about this, please? And thank you. What is the other insight and guidance that you would like for us to have at this time? Ten of Cups. You are establishing a family with this person. Okay? But they trying to get your ass arrested. Arrested now. And whoever they working with, they didn't promise this pregnant artist that if they can catch you up, if they can get you, uh, get enough shit up on you, they gonna get some major benefits out of it to ensure that they and their child gonna be all right now. They ain't worried about you taking care of this baby because whoever they working for them already told them that they gonna take care of their child. That them and their child are gonna be all right. That they will have offerings to give to their child. That they'll be able to create good memories with their child. They just got to get rid of you. Eight of Cups. And that they can walk away from this unscathed if they're able to pull off this roguish energy. Their wishes will come true. Good luck and blessings will come to them if they can end your world, stop your world. And you may even live with this artist or they may spend time frequently at your home. This pregnant woman, I'm telling you, this is some type of artsy energy. This is somebody who is real, you know, comes off. They they have that, that bohemian hippie aesthetic, okay? 808, but they struggle financially. And sometimes this person may have had to come live with you. Or they, they domesticate often at your home, okay? But they got hidden cameras in your home. They have hidden cameras in your home for this wise council hyphen energy. I don't know what you do, but they're recording you. And they're definitely trying to cause some sort of endings for you. Because if she can set you up, I'm telling you, her ass is going to get an ace of pentacles. That's what they didn't told her. Okay? What else, Holy Spirit, from my air signs? This queen of cups, I'm telling you, it's a it's a water sign. This, this look, page of cups right behind that. She really is a hater. She don't fuck with you. That's why this facade, don't be fooled, is out here. There's a water sign, artsy energy that is pregnant by an air sign, and she's setting his ass up, and that's just on period now. That's on period now. And the universe is trying to warn you about this person, because you are a divine masculine, okay? I don't know what they think they finna try to get on you, but you are a divine masculine, but this is a karmic energy that you're dealing with, that this divine masculine is dealing with. Because I don't know if he's listening or not, so I'm not going to talk directly to him. But I just felt like he was going to hear that right then. 
But this is a karmic that this divine masculine has been dealing with that he thinks that he's in a divine union with. And this person is really a karmic, a five of swords. But she's pregnant by this divine masculine. And she is working with the police to set him up. For what? Four of Pentacles then came out here with judgment. Something about money for sure. So maybe this divine masculine accumulated some wealth in a way that he shouldn't have. And this this Queen of Cups had something to do with it too. That's what it's given. Okay? This water sign here. But she don't want to go to jail. So she working with the police against this judgment air sign energy to cause him to be in the tower. Okay, so whoever this is, he got Libra somewhere prominently in his chart. But he also got Scorpio in his chart too. And this Queen of Cups has set him up. And she's been doing sex magic on him to keep his ass in some sort of confused limbo energy so that he don't even realize what the hell is going on and they didn't promise her an ace of pentacles for her and her baby and the holy spirit says that's the truth now that mental clarity is being re being received in this reading and they have promised her i'm telling like like if she had anything to do with it she ain't got to pay back nothing, and they're going to give her some money for being an informant. She's going to be in the Nine of Pentacles if she's able to help them out and set this judgment tower energy up, this air sign here. What's going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit, please and thank you, because this thing irritated me. Ten of Wands that came out here. Some divine masculines, three of, three of wands then came out here. I'm telling these people trying to put this man up in somebody jail. Yes, they is now. They need the evidence and she giving it to him. She giving it to him now because see, look, she go and get what she go and pull whatever she need to pull about this king of swords actions. And she go back and she report to this hyphen energy this three of pentacles energy what she done found out about what he be doing in addition to the hidden cameras that she got planted around his house but he didn't want to he wanted to build with a karmic so this is why this is going to be his fate and the universe is giving him one last warning that he need to check his circle he don't need to be fooled by this pregnant karmic energy that he think he in a divine union with. I'm telling you, he think because she comes off as this artistic bohemian energy that she's divine. I'm telling you, she has the aesthetic down pat of what people think a divine feminine looks like. You know what I'm saying? She got that energy. She, she, she practices what people think being a divine feminine is but i'm telling you it's not an aesthetic it's an energy and this divine masculine is about to learn the hard way because he is the divine masculine of another but he's chosen this king of swords here has chosen to partner with this queen of cups to the point that he's procreating with her so this is what he's chosen to be his as he's chosen this to be his fate Cause she definitely was doing sex magic on him. Okay. She could be a cancer with this chariot energy here. She could be, she could have Scorpio or cancer in her chart. But she's spying on this man for these people, whoever this wise counsel hyphen is. She's spying on this man for an investigator in particular, this King of Pentacles here. Because this King of Pentacles must have already hit this Queen of Cups with some sort of infraction and let her ass know that she didn't cooperate 
and take this King of Swords down, assist them in doing that, rather, that they already was planning a transition for her ass, okay? But if she was willing to cooperate because she pregnant, and if she was able to help this hyphen energy, her ass was going to be in the sun, her and her child, I'm telling you. And that they was even going to give her some sort of reward or benefit to help her and her child transition from this sacrificial energy that she's putting this King of Swords in. Because you know people going to be coming for her when they find out that she didn't set this man up and put him in the tower. Okay? They're going to be coming for her. So this Hierophant energy has already let this woman know that they're going to relocate her. They're going to help her reestablish a life for her and her child. And that, you know, that's that's how it go. He want to be with a karmic ass hoe. This cancer here. This cancer energy is really giving cancer Scorpio energy all day, baby. And the Holy Spirit saying that's the truth, too, because the moon falling right up under the Ace of Swords. Something is about to pop off with everything she's been building against this DM. And he's about to go to jail. I'm telling you. It's it's at the point where they got enough evidence on him that it ain't nothing else they need from her. The emperor out here now. I'm telling you. They, they got enough evidence on him. That's why this coming out now. The Holy Spirit possibly has been trying to warn this man that he's been being watched, that he has been up under some sort of surveillance with the Six of Wands. And these people are about to triumph over him. And it's all because of who he chose as his lover, who he thought was his twin flame, who he chose to celebrate with. And who he chose to invest in and build a family and a future with. That is why this particular divine masculine is finna fall from grace. Because he didn't gave a karmic energy everything that he was supposed to give his divine counterpart. Willingly gave it to her and procreated with her. And she set him up to go to jail for a long time. And she going to move on with this baby and live her life in the sunshine and not give two fucks about him or his penance and his punishment. Because, look, two of swords on the bottom, That what he, what he was trying to give this woman, she don't even want it. Okay? They giving her something better because she ain't never really want this DM like that. No way. Five of cups. And this is where he's going to be left in deep regret. Because whatever they got, they got enough energy on him. They got enough information on him. Intel, evidence, surveillance. Look, of him doing something low vibrational with money with this woman. She got, she played a part in it. Because they came to her first. And her be, in, be, agreeing to be an, an informant and work with these people got her ass up out of trouble. And I'm telling you. Her being pregnant has something to do with it as well. She got some sort of concession because of her pregnancy. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? And he think this is the lady of his life, child. My, my, my. What heavy illusions he is under. Because he has no idea the action that this woman has been taking. To cause destruction in his life. And I'm I'm leaving it here. I don't even want to talk about this no more. I'm so tired of picking up on the treachery. But what's coming out is information that people need to know. Because they're wondering why they DM ain't come back to them. Why did they DM go and get this person pregnant? What's happening? Should I move forward in my life? Is God going to replace my my DM, my DF even, with someone else. And this is how God is giving y'all insight into what's going on with these people. 
that you were hoping to have a future with. And God is also showing you how some people are getting back their karma for how they mistreated you. Because I'm picking it up. Whoever this king of swords, judgment, tower energy is, this person mistreated their true divine feminine. They had to have mistreated her to have get willingly and forcefully. It's like the vibe I'm getting from this DM, he tried to push this queen of cups into this partnership. Like he just knew she was the one. And she knows she ain't the one. That's why she's she's betraying him in this way. But this is what a lot of these people wanted. They refused to take the warnings. Okay? They refused to pay attention to the signs. Take heed to the warnings. Excuse me. And this is their fate. So I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message is helping somebody. I hope it gives you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.